as an optional function. An inverter can connect various devices. With the external switches connected to the control circuit terminal of the inverter, you can control the operation and speed. The speed can be set to up to 15 levels with the preset switches for low, medium, and high speed. You can manually change the motor rotational speed by using an external potentiometer for analog signal. An analog indicator is also available for remote monitoring. Now let me explain how to wire the control circuit terminals. This figure shows the layout of the control circuit terminals. The external potentiometer is wired to the terminals 10, 2, and 5, and the analog indicator has been wired to the terminals FM and SD. For the control circuit wiring, blade terminals are recommended. If you want to use the stripped electric wires, twist the electric wires before wiring so they won't become loose. Loose tips may cause a short circuit with other terminals. Do not solder it to prevent it from getting bent. Now I'm going to show you how to use the blade terminal. First, strip off about 10 millimeters of the wire at the end. Insert the strip part of the cable into the terminal and crimp the blade terminal onto the wire with a special tool. To insert the blade terminal, loosen the screw with a flathead screwdriver, insert the terminal and tighten the screw. To remove the terminal, loosen the screw before pulling out the terminal.